What is going on today, everybody? It's Buddy here. And in this video, you guys are to learn how to replace your brake pads in your BMW E90, E91, E92, and E93. And for you guys who don't know, this is going to cover every 3 Series BMW from 2006 to 2013. Now, I'm also going to have a separate video to how to replace your brake rotors in your car as well. So check that out. That will be in the description below. So for now, let's get these brake pads installed. And as always, under the video in the description box, I'll have Amazon links to all the tools and materials I use for this job. Now, before even jacking up the car, the very first thing you want to do is pull up the emergency brake. And then we're going to apply wheel chocks to the back wheels. And if you don't have actual wheel chocks, you can use a 2x4. Just be sure to use your foot and wedge it in the back wheel nice and tight so the car doesn't move. And now that we got our emergency brake up and our wheel chocks in place, we're going to go ahead and crack the lug nuts loose while the wheel is still on the ground. Now with our lug nuts broken loose, we can go ahead and jack up the front of the car. Now let's go ahead and throw some jack stands under the car to make sure it's nice and stable while we work on it. Now we can go ahead and pull our lug nuts all the way off and move our tire out of the way. Now after we got the tire removed, we're going to go ahead and get in the car and we're going to turn our steering wheel so the brake caliper faces towards us. That's going to give us a lot easier access to reach the bolts that we need to get to. Now coming back here behind the brake caliper, you're going to see we have our little caps right here for our guide pin. So we're just going to use our nail. We're going to pop that off. Now after we got the cap off for this guide pin, we're going to go ahead and stick in a 7mm Allen key and break this thing loose. And once we cracked it loose, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull it out all the way. And it's going to be the exact same procedure for the lower caliper guide pin as well. We're going to crack it loose and then we're going to take it all the way out. And if they're not properly greased like this one, you may have to take a screwdriver to get it out all the way. Now after we remove this guide pin from the back, we're going to go ahead and take off this retaining pin. What I'm going to use is a plastic pry tool. I'm going to stick it in the back between the rotor and the retaining clip. I'm going to grab right here with my other hand. I'm just going to give it some tension. It should pull right out just like that. Now at this point, you should be able to just pull your brake caliper out with your hands. But this one is a little seized up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver. And I'm going to slowly just pry it out. Pull from the top and now the bottom. Back to the top, and back to the bottom, and it's off. Now I do have a bungee cord ready up here tied to the strut tower, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bungee cord, I'm going to hook it on my caliper, and that way we're not putting a bunch of tension here on this line. You don't want to have a lot of tensions here on your brake lines. And then let's go ahead and pop out this other brake pad. Now coming back over here behind the brake rotor, we're going to have one and two 16 millimeter bolts holding our brake caliper mount to our knuckle. And if you notice that it looks all wet here behind my brake caliper, it's just because I just sprayed it down a few minutes before shooting the shot with some WD-40. With a large build of a brake dust, it can really seize up these bolts sometimes. So a good idea is to spray them down actually the night before with some WD-40 or some PB Blaster and let them sit overnight to help these bolts come out much easier when you do the job the next day. So we're going to go ahead and crack it loose and then remove it the rest of the way by hand. And then we're going to crack the bottom one loose and remove it the rest of the way by hand. And once we got our brake caliper bracket removed, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean the surfaces right here and right here. And the reason it's important to get these surfaces clean is because this is where your brake pads actually sit and they glide along this. So you want to make sure this is nice and clean before you put this back. So we're just going to take some brake parts cleaner. And then we're going to take a wire brush and just scrub them down. And once we're done scrubbing it, we're going to take our brake park cleaner and we're just going to spray all the loose gunk that we just removed. So now that we're done cleaning the brake caliper bracket, we're going to start on our brake caliper. So we can go ahead and take this bungee cord off and then we're going to take our brake piston compression tool. We're going to fit it in our caliper and we're just going to get it hand tight for now. Now there's a lot of different variations of these brake piston compression tools, but here's the cheapest and highest rated one on Amazon. It's going to work the exact same way I'm showing you here. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below so you can check that out. And then we're going to take our socket wrench and we're just going to compress this down until it bottoms out. 
And once it bottoms out, you will not be able to crank it anymore. At that point, we can loosen it up a little bit. And just enough to get our tool out of here. And at this point, we can go ahead and pull out our brake pad. And before we just slam our new brake pads in there, let's take some brake parts cleaner and spray it down and give it a quick scrub. And then we'll go ahead and spray down all the loose gunk. And the reason we want this clean is because our new brake pads are going to be sliding up and down on this. So we want this free of gunk and grime. So now that we got our caliper and our caliper bracket all nice and clean and ready, it's time to start working on our brake pads. And I just want to give a quick shout out to buybrakes.com for sending me out these ceramic brake pads. Buybrakes.com is veteran owned and offer the absolute lowest prices online guaranteed for brake pads, rotors, calipers, or anything brake related. They literally have ASC certified mechanics and race car technicians at their facilities so they can answer any questions you have prior to purchase. So check out buybrakes.com and I'll leave all their information in the description below. So we're going to take our brake parts lubricant and and we're going to go ahead and lube up the wings. We're going to lube up the top of the brake pad. And I like to throw a thin coat here on the back. We'll throw a thin layer here on the inside of the caliper. And then we'll go ahead and slide our new brake pad inside the caliper. You want to make sure you don't have any brake grease on your fingers because you don't want to get this on the front of the pad. And before we put our second brake pad on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grease up our caliper bracket right here where the brake pads slide against. Now after our brake caliper bracket is all greased up, we can go ahead and reattach it to the knuckle with the two bolts that we took out. Now we can go ahead and spray down our brake caliper guide pins, wipe any loose grease or debris off of them, and now let's grease the wings of our other brake pad, and then the top lip of the brake pad. Throw a thin layer on the back, and then we'll place that second brake pad right here on the caliper, and then we'll go ahead and fit it right here on our rotor. Now we can take our guide pin, and we'll get that nice and greased up. And then we'll go ahead and screw in our brake caliper. And then repeat the process with the bottom brake caliper guide pin by greasing it and screwing it in. Now after we got these bolts snug, we're going to take our Allen key and we're going to tighten them down. Starting with the bottom and then the same thing here on the top guide pin. Make sure we get it nice and tight. And let's not forget our dust caps. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our retaining clip we're going to fit it in there, and then we're going to pull this right over, nice and gentle. And the same thing here on the bottom, like that, and then we'll slap this in. Also guys, if you haven't already, check out the channel where I have a bunch of high quality BMW DIY videos like headlight housing removal, headlight replacement, radio replacement, how to test and replace your spark plugs and initial coils, and much, much more. And if you're interested, my most popular video is me buying a beat up BMW E90, fixing it up and selling it for a few thousand dollars profit.